Hi, I plan to make a couple of video tutorials on Elasticsearch and Kibana and uh, this is the first one it is on visualizing New York City 311 service requests using uh, Elasticsearch and uh, Kibana so at the end of this video tutorial we are going to create uh, a dashboard similar to this one so the data is from 2010 to present and here on the top left we have a heat map that shows uh, the distribution of the service requests so we can see if i zoom out slightly we can see the requests are uh, mainly concentrated in this part of the city and in this part of the city and the top right is a word cloud of the most common uh, complaints. So we see the most common complaint is loud music or party. We have also he re uh, complaints related to heat, uh, pothole, loud talking, uh, street light out, and so on. And this is uh, a time series of the number of uh, service requests since 2010 to the present. And this is an area chart that shows the number of uh, service requests by uh, town or by part of the New York City, different parts of New York City. So with Kibana, uh, the good thing with Elasticsearch and Kibana is it is in here, it is very interactive. You can drill down very quickly, search specific terms of interest. Like if we start with the word cloud, for example, we can, the word cloud is very, very handy because it is static, it is not static, it is dynamic. I can click on a specific uh, uh, word, for example, if I click on uh, loud music or party, then uh, all the dashboard will uh, update and filter out uh, the data based on my selection. So if I, I click here, loud music, you see we have only loud music and we can see the distribution of loud music uh, here and how it has been changing over time and across the different parts of uh, New York City. And to remove my filter, I can just click this, remove it. I can also uh, filter using the map. I can just draw for example, a polygon, if I do a polygon over this part, I can zoom in to that part of New York City and use this geographic location as a filter. So zoom into that part. Now it is showing me all the visualizations on this dashboard have uh, filtered the data and are showing only data uh, from this geographic location. And uh, I can also search a specific term here i want so among the problems here we see we have pothole so i can search it here i mean if i don't have it here if i don't have it in a word cloud i can search any terms of interest here but actually in this case i can just simply click here so if i search it here i see pothole is here and all the data shown here contains pothole as a as a, a, a um, complaint so we can see the distribution of this complaint across new york city and how it had been varying over time it seems there is some kind of uh cyclic behavior here uh, it seems it has some kind of seasonality both from here and also from here and uh to remove this, I just have to remove it and click apply. Okay, so I can also uh, filter my dashboard using a specific time window. For our case, for now, for example, we can use uh, the, as we know, Hurricane Sandy affected New York City very severely. And let's see, Hurricane uh, Sandy, uh, 
and uh, it severely affected New York City. It formed on October 22nd and it dissipated on November 2. So let's see what a kind of what kind of complaints or service requests were made during this time window. So I can go here and apply a filter here from 2012. Uh, it is. October 22nd, 2012, uh, November, mm, November 2. So if I apply this filter, now it is showing me uh, complaints during that time window only. And as expected, if we see the heat map here, it shows the problems reported here are related to hurricane or storms. We have here branch crack branch cracked and will fall tree leaning or uprooted uh, branch or limb has fallen down street light out all these kinds of problems can happen during a hurricane but also during this time that we see this loud music or party problem still it was there even during